I'm going to show you something unbelievably crazy today, right? How I made six figures in just uh, five years as an independent musician on Fiverr. Now, um, I don't speak about this to impress you. I speak about it to simply impress upon you the possibilities and the opportunities that Fiverr can bring you as a musician, as an independent musician, right? So a little bit of a backstory. In 2016, it was one late night. It was around 11 p.m. in the evening and I was watching a film and I had the laptop on my lap and I was just browsing and I came across Fiverr. So what I did was I went to the homepage and I saw, oh, okay, you know, they're a brand, they're a website that will allow me to list my services, X, Y, Z. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I listed my um, services and, you know, a couple of weeks later, I didn't get no jobs. Nothing came through. So I left it. I forgot about it. And then it wasn't until maybe this was in March and it wasn't until maybe August, like July, which is about four months later, I got my first sale. And then a couple of weeks later, I got another sale. And then a couple of weeks later, I got another sale. And it wasn't long before I was getting two or three sales a day. And I was able to quit my current job at the time and start doing it full time. So that was the, that was how I actually came across Fiverr. And now fast forward five years, um, you know, Fiverr has just been, um, I've, I've met some incredible people. Um, and you know, I just, I've just been earning money doing online gigs and sharing my stuff. So what I'm about to share with you today, um, is something that's changed my life. Um, and I just wanted to share with you the back end of Fiverr of how it works and a couple of tips and tricks that you can do to get in on the platform and start, um, and making some money as well. Just how it's changed my life. So this is Fiverr. This is how it looks on the front end. This is what the profile page is. Most of you know me through Fiverr as well. Um, you have these are my free gigs. I have a singing songwriting gig. I have a, um, a a training course on how to sell beats, and I also um, have like a ten dollar pack, which is fifty of my quality beats that I made from last year. So every year I make x amount of beats. I might make two hundred to three hundred beats per year. Um, two hundred and fifty of them beats I'll sell. Okay, through my website through BeatStars, through Fiverr, and then I always put aside 50 um, that didn't quite sell or maybe, you know, wasn't quite a fan favorite. I package it and I sell it for $10 just to give back to up and coming, you know, rappers, artists that need beats um, that might be have a low, might have a low budget. It gives them access to some kind of beats. So those are the free gigs that I offer on Fiverr. You can offer as many gigs as you want, I believe, um, once you're a top-rated seller. But when you first start, you're allowed five gigs, okay? You're allowed five gigs. Um, so I've got five gigs. Um, these are like my reviews and stuff on the side here. I've done over a 1,000, you know, probably 10,000 jobs, but only a small percentage will actually leave a review. So I've actually done over a 1,000 uh, reviews that have, people have left these I need to update because every year these are some of the clients I've worked with BBC High and Channel 5 but every year Fiverr asks you to re-upload your portfolio to confirm that the people that you've worked with is true I need to get around to doing that and um, those are all credits that I've had and then these are my reviews which I'm pretty proud of like I've said a 4.9 review there's 1383 reviews left and there's just a ton and ton of you guys just leaving your thoughts your testimonials your experiences and what it's been like working with me um something that i'm truly truly proud of uh if i go to negative reviews um i've probably got i don't know out of a thousand reviews i've probably got i don't know maybe 40 maybe uh maybe even less than that i'm not even sure one two three four four i would say maybe 20 if i count that right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, nineteen. 19, yeah, about 20 out of 1,383, which I'm happy with because, you know, you're not going to please everyone in life. You, it's impossible to please everyone in life. I'm not able to do it. I don't think no one is. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that balance, you know. So, um. Yeah, and that's it. You know, I've got my little description part here and then my education and stuff and that. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to take you into the back end, which you could see a little bit earlier. 
and it's just basically just a breakdown of like earnings and who's how many countries have purchased from me and things like that and like i said i'm not showing it to impress you i'm simply showing it to impress upon you the opportunities that that lie within fiverr um so these these are my earnings to date one hundred and four thousand dollars and the expenses to date has been i've spent one thousand six hundred and ninety two on my own gigs on things like that um graphic design and whatnot whatnot um, cash advance as well is a good feature that once you're a top rated seller or maybe a level two seller um, Fiverr will offer you a loan that you can use to fund your music business or whatever so I took out a $3,500 loan and what they do is they just simply take out a small well they take out 40% of of everything that you earn within Fiverr until you pay it back so as you can see I lent $3,500 they added $400 77 dollars as their commission so total i had to pay after payback is 3977 i've paid back to date 1917 and this is how much i've got left to pay like i said every time i complete an order before fiverr pay me out on it they take their cut and then they pay me what's rest um i had to fund i can't remember what i was trying to fund i took it i took this out in like november as you can see here i had some stuff i wanted to fund um, so I rerouted some funds through this instead of getting out like a business loan and stuff like that. It's been quite handy. Um, but in retrospect, I sh probably shouldn't have taken it out. Maybe not shouldn't have, but I probably there was probably a better scenario and a better situation to get the funds from. Um, but at the time, I wanted to just test out this cash advance see what it's like see how it works um so that at least i can say okay cool it worked for me it didn't work for me so that's the cash advance um if we go to growth and marketing growth and marketing is just like a page what where once you reach a certain status on fiverr you get dedicated a success manager someone called a success manager my success manager is the lovely doron she is um she's really cool i've spoke i speak to her probably maybe once once a month um and she just lets me know what i could do to improve my service you know what i can do to reach my goals financially uh customer base wise um scheduling she's just there someone to support you know she just supports me with what i'm kind of doing and if i need any help um in in the business you know she's there always to answer them so it's really handy having someone on board like this that kind of knows fiverr inside and out and can guide me in and help me you know reach my goals so that's really good i've probably been working with her for a year now and i've got no concerns there um there's a couple other pages some of them are really not important like a coupons page so if you want to send that a customer a coupon you can just to give a discount to your customer this is probably like an important page that i look at quite often it's got impressions clicks orders cost per click spend so i'm heavy on marketing in terms of ppc pay per click marketing is just like the bread and butter of every business every artist whatever it is that you're doing you need to have a good marketing system in place marketing simply brings clients to you okay it is it, 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 it <laughs> let me phrase this right marketing brings awareness to your product okay as a musician no one is going to buy your service buy your beats buy your raps buy your music if they don't know you exist okay grant cardone says it best if you don't know about Grant cardone google him he's a massive sales guru he says the biggest problem that every product every service every artist everybody on the face of this planet has the same problem when it comes to selling their biggest problem, our biggest problem, my biggest problem is not enough people know you exist. Okay, so my job every day is to wake up and say to myself, how can I get more people aware of what I'm doing? Because no one can buy from me if they don't know I exist. You have, They have to know and be aware that you exist before they can even consider evaluating whether they should buy from me. Okay, so that's what a good marketing plan does it creates awareness it makes people aware that you exist and then that's where sales comes in and sales and advertising stuff like that is the ability to turn their awareness 
into a purchase okay through persuasion through you know trust through you know just showing them that your way is the best way and how much you know what value you can provide so anyway cut a long story short over the last 60 days if i change this to the last 30 days it will show you that my gig I've, pa I've paid to have my gig shown on the fiverr platform and increase the awareness so i've had 653 impressions 26 clicks from the ad seven orders so i've spent 10 pounds and made back a thousand pounds that's an insane these numbers are a bit distorted because this one customer has has actually purchased it multiple times so they initially came through through the ad and they just cut, kept coming back and they've ordered seven during the last 30 days okay so these aren't seven new customers this is the same one that's come through so it's a little bit distorted but to spend 10 pounds to increase my visibility on the platform and earn a thousand pounds um is insane that's that's insane so um that's something that i do on this platform which fiverr allow you to do as well which is really good if you go to contacts here i can actually um you can actually see my buyers that i've had i've had 1200 buyers and you can kind of order them in the amount that they've spent with me so if i go to amount spent this person has completed 46 orders with me over the i can't remember how long he's I've probably been been working with Lerone from about 2018 he's completed overall 46 orders amount spent he's spent five grand um robert neat is what another one he's ordered 25 songs elise carry um all different ones so you can order them i can go back to them and ask them you know do they need any more assistance with their music is everything good you know um i could just touch base with them and see if they need anything else from me um analytics last but not least analytics section is just it's self-explanatory it just tells me basically what i'm where i'm at um and how everything is breaking down really one of the cool little features though that i like in the analytics is that it's, there's this world domination chart and it basically says 35 percent i've dominated the world in terms of how many people i've worked with so in terms of how many countries so i've had a thousand sales from united states over the past six years a thousand clients i've worked with not so much sales i'll say a thousand clients um mexico four clients i've had four clients from brazil united kingdom i've had 215 france i've had 42 so there's some pretty wild numbers russia i've had 35 new zealand i've had 116 so you know even kazakhstan bloody hell two cells you know india nine cells so it's quite impressive it's quite nice to, to look at it and see you know how much people and different places and <clears throat> different clients it's truly been a blessing it's, it's incredible it's crazy but it's definitely united states that wins it it's, it's, it's got the most sales because music is massive in united states and not only is it massive but they actually have a lot of um, disposable income their first world country they have a lot of disposable income in the united states so it's always united states canada uk australia and new zealand in terms of you know um when it comes to music and online stuff like that and that's pretty much it like that is the breakdown of um fiverr and you know and and, and my journey but in terms of as a new artist, maybe you might be thinking of jumping on Fiverr as well. A couple of tips that I'll give um, off the top of my head is that you want to deliver like how I did it. I just said it and forget it. Create your account and walk away and forget about it. Like you'll get an email notification one day that you've got an order. That's just how it will come through. You know, don't create it today and keep checking it every single day. You'll just get disheartened. You know it'll bring bad energy and then you know it, it probably won't much come from it but just set it forget it walk away from it and forget about it in the next couple months couple weeks i guarantee you get a little sell number two is price yourself accordingly remember you're going to come in the game and you're going to create an account and you're going to be a fresh artist no one's going to know who you are and you're not going to have a lot of reviews so you probably want to price yourself quite low maybe five ten dollars until you start building up your reputation get it to maybe five to ten reviews and then start up in your price i think i done maybe my first 50 gigs my first 50 jobs at literally five to ten dollars and that was like a full song so i was i was getting smacked like in the beginning the early stages i was getting completely robbed if you like i was doing a lot of work for free but 
if you know anything about building a business or whatever, you do have to work for free in the beginning. You know, most people will work for free to build their portfolio and that's something I'm fully aware of. So the way I saw it was like, I'm building up my portfolio. So let me just keep doing it for this low price. Um, and I was still actually getting something, you know, when you're building a portfolio, most people have to do it hands down free, like completely free. But I was actually getting paid at least something to keep me, you know, keep me interested. So I've probably done my first 50 and then after 50, I started up in the price and my highest gig was 50, 50, 50 dollars. And then it was a hundred dollars. And then it went, it's, re, it's, it's now at $150. The highest it's been is $565. Um, but I've chose to come down slightly um, for for a couple of reasons. I dropped ranks because I was delivering my work a, you know, a little bit late. Um, I've got other business commitments in other places. So I wasn't able to actively be delivering on time and stuff like that. So... My ratings kind of dropped, as you can see here, it's gone down to 89%. So as you start to drop down the ranks, um, you, you need to be mindful that you don't want to be charging top dollar when you're like a, like a level one seller. So bear that in mind, you know, price it according to how you, your reputation on the platform. Also to build and help you get your reputation on your platform, don't be afraid to what I did in the early stages. I had a few friends leave a few reviews on the account. So I paid them five pounds. They will jump in on Fiverr, create an account, come on my page, order a gig, and then you know, I'll deliver the gig and then they'll just leave a review. Yeah. So leave a review, get a three or four ones in there from your friends, close family. Makes it easier. Straight away you'll have four good reviews on this. So when client does come over, they'll see that, you know you've got some good reviews and then last but not least actually deliver good quality product like that's the only way you're going to survive and be able to make 100k and above on this platform on any kind of platform online and any kind of business online or as, as a musician the only way you're going to do that is to be able to deliver a good product okay it's a must so if you're someone that's maybe fresh in the industry and you're still learning the books I would still advise you to do this because it's going to quite quickly tell you whether you're in a position to be charging and monetizing your art. Do you get what I'm saying? Because you just might not be there. I was actually doing a video for YouTube about maybe a week ago and I was reviewing some of my older music like from 2009, which is what, 15, 14, 13 years ago? No pun intended. Um, But... I look back now and I just realize how crummy my sound was. Like at the time I was like, yo, this sounds wicked. Like how am I not signed and how, why doesn't everyone love this song? And I look back now and I realize I know why no, you know, not as many people was loving it because it still had, I still had work to do. Like I wasn't the finished article, but sometimes including myself, we can feel like we're the finished article. We can when in, in, in realistically we're just not um so make sure that your music is up to par and if it's not use this as an experience to either get it on par or a reality check to tell you where you actually are at and then just work towards getting it on par and that's it once you can achieve those three things four things you'll be good you'll, you'll, you'll be able to grow you'll be able to meet new people and just get your music and your sound out there and and it feels good to make money from music I feel like music comes with a terrible stigma of like you must if you're a musician like you're kind of destined for to be poor like you're destined to not have much money and struggle you know that struggling musician or rapper vibe that mindset and it doesn't have to be like that especially in 2023 especially thanks to the internet and especially thanks to the digital age artists no longer have to struggle like it's just not a thing do you get what I'm saying? The only reason why you're struggling is probably because of two things. You either lack technical skills um, musically or you lack self-belief, one of the two. So it's your job now to figure out which one of those two things you're lacking and how you can fill those voids. My whole entire website, my whole entire blog is the world's fastest growing blog called 13.com. I'll leave the link in the description box and it is actually dedicated to helping artists sound better and become more. Because over the last 20 years, we've identified that most musicians, most rappers, most artists, most producers struggle with those two things, technical ability and self-belief. So we publish articles, contents, training guides, 
designed and geared to helping artists sell sound better and become more you know build their self-belief and build their technical skills so that is it that is the video on fiverr on how shockingly i was able to create over 100k on fiverr over the last six years um it's actually mind-blowing the more i think about it it's, it's just crazy um i'm not done yet i'm not done yet. i'm done yet i still want to provide so much more value meet so much more new people and keep delivering on the goods so if you got value from this video give this video a like and subscribe i publish videos a couple times a week um to help music creators music freelancers all of that good stuff sound better and become more i will see you in the next video so take care peace